What rhymes with Nantucket? It's fucking. What's up? Talking about the fucking vernacular, okay? <laughs> Yes, I feel like every year I do at least one episode about fuck it because it's very important. It's healthy for you, okay? It's like taking your vitamins and your supplements or eating your um veggies. In life, so far, we only get one life, right? And experience each age at least one time. Unless someone can prove me wrong or otherwise that we get more. That's all I know. Everybody around me has only gotten one. Any Anybody... Know anything different? Huh? Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Nobody. Nobody. I thought so. Life will either use you and use you up if you let it. At a certain point, you, me, and she. What we gonna do, baby? No, 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 no. You, me, and the others have to master their own fuck it level okay i have a fuck it level the person to your right has a fuck it level the person to your left has a fuck it level the person in front of you and the person in back of you we all have a fuck it level some people just haven't found it yet and that's unfortunate that's what i'm talking about no all right all right what's up So you've been working doubles and you never call out. You're always on time. Every day you're at work. When people um, need somebody to comfort for them, you always volunteer. But for some reason, for some reason, this day you woke up and you were tired. You were exhausted. Your head was hurting. Your body was aching. And you just sat up in bed and you was like, fuck it. And that fuck it, my friend, is deserved. Being self-aware meaning knowing yourself by yourself. Means knowing your limits and what you won't do and what you will do, what you won't allow. And in my 30s, people got one time to show me their ass. Then I'm good. There's no discussion needed. If we ever interact, it will never be on the same level. The trust is skewed. The faith is tilted. Love is tampered with. Openness, most of the times, will be closed off because it's about protecting my energy. Shout out to KD, protectyourenergy.com. It's about protecting just my efforts and knowing, like, last time you just made me feel like Shit was a waste and I can't, I can't go all in a second time around. I just can't. People threatening to leave you or quit their job or the services or businesses you have with them. Open the door. Open the door so they know that they can leave at any time. Never resist what is meant to be. Because the people that you don't need will walk out of your life. And the people that you need will walk in. Leave that door open. Leave that door open. Some things I believe, yes. Some things are fixable and you don't have to say fuck it. Like, for instance, today. I went to my... uh, I went to fix my table umbrella that's outside on the patio. Because the other day the wind tossed it. Like, the wind was blowing crazy in Atlanta, right? Right? The wind tossed it over and the wire had bent that holds the umbrella up. So I'm outside fooling around with it, hitting it with the mallet, trying to hold it with the um, wrench and shit, trying to bang it. I'm looking at my mom. My mom looking at me. She was like, I hope you don't break your nail. (laughs) I spent buku money on nails this weekend for her and myself. And I'm just like, uh, I'm just like, you know what? Nah. Nah. The umbrella came with the table set, right? And when I got it, I was weird because the umbrella part didn't have a, it didn't have a base. And to me, 
I just figure like the wind might blow it and it might um it might blow over and that's exactly what happened. The table turned, but the table didn't break surprisingly. And um the wire was just too bent to go through the hole so the so the metal part was slipping out. So I was just like, fuck it. I'll go buy a new one. It can't be that much. $30. All right. $30. You got me for $30. Boom. I'll make that back. That's like, that's like what? A couple of t-shirts. I'll make that back. I'll make that back. Whatever. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's not even worth it to stress yourself. Sometimes you have to stop stressing yourself and say, fuck it. If you're tired of being your family's problem waste basket, basket meaning everybody's problems, they come to call you, they talk to you, they vent to you, and they throw it at you and they want you to fix it. Turn off your phone. Turn off your phone. Turn off your phone. Be unreachable. Don't tell people where you're going. And just zone out. Everybody needs a break. But you know where some people fuck up at? There's that word again. They don't tell people to fuck off. They don't tell people to stop bothering me. They don't tell people, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to hear about this. I have my own problems. They don't tell people, like, enough. This is the last time I'm helping you. Don't call me again. And I mean it. They don't. But they think it. And when you think it, and you just keep it in, it festers and it boils into some other shit. And then that boils into some other shit. And if you're the main person that people come to to fix shit, it's going to bubble into some other shit. And you'll never have peace. You'll never feel settled. You'll never feel like people are around you genuinely because they want to be around you or they want to spend the time. You'll always feel like people are coming to you because they want something. That's not no way to live. So you have to say fuck it sometimes to keep your peace. You have to say fuck it sometimes because I'm also human and I also mess up and I also need a break and I'm also exhausted. It is exhausting to be it all the time. It is exhausting to be someone's punching bag. It is exhausting to be on all the time. Oh, they're funny. They're always funny. Call him. Come over here. Come over here. Tell us something funny. Or tell him about that one time. Like, maybe to. Who is Shan.com? Okay. I got uh, my books are on that website. That is my personal website. You got the feed for the show for So What Page We On Bid. She gets a podcast and Cozy One Podcast. Today, I don't want to be funny. Maybe today, I don't want to be the one to entertain everybody. Maybe today, I want to be low key. And that's why I say, like, it does not pay to be a motherfucking celebrity. It does not pay to be famous. It does not pay to be well-known because when people see you, they never let you have your peace or your space. They won't. Because in their minds, they feel like they have all access to you because of the line of work you chose. No. And that's, that's why I'm like, damn, I hope this mass shit don't go away because I actually like this mass shit. If I'm wearing my glasses and my mask and I go to the motherfucking store, nobody knows who I am. Nobody. It's like I'm in there in my own bubble and I go in and I get what I want. And sometimes, depending on where I'm going, I go wear what the fuck I want. Because you can't see me. Fuck it. If you feeling shitty today, fuck it. Stay in. Cut off the world and just be. If you tired of that workplace that doesn't appreciate you, that you be going ham on, and they always have the most shit to say, and don't nobody else in there do work, and then you know if you took off a week, the whole place will fucking fall up bits. Fall apart. Fuck it. People need to learn their lessons. You can't crutch on one person all your life. You can't crutch on a group of people all your life. 
you can't think like your parents just because they did what they did in life and they were well off that you could have crutch on them all your life. That's not realistic. There's one thing to want somebody by you because you enjoy their company, but it's another thing to need somebody by you because you don't know how to stand up on your own. Don't be that person. Don't be that. Don't stress yourself on something that's not even worth it. Fuck it when you need to say fuck it. Practice saying fuck it. Go in the mirror and practice saying fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. You trying to please somebody that can't be pleased because they're miserable within themselves? Fuck it. I'm telling you. You ain't took a vacation in five years? Fuck it. Do something for you. Go for it. It doesn't have to be where everybody's going. It doesn't have to be to Mexico. It doesn't have to be to Jamaica. It doesn't have to be to the Bahamas. It doesn't have to be to Miami. It doesn't have to be to New York. It doesn't have to be to LA. Go somewhere no one else is going and fucking just zone out. Saying fuck it can be healthy. People act like it's just full of negativity. It's not. People are human out here. They deserve to have peace. They deserve to to lay down when they're tired. They deserve to zone out when they can't take it anymore. Because if they don't, people just crash. They crash. Sometimes physically, they'll crash into other people out of frustration. Or they'll crash emotionally where they'll just break down. Or they'll crash verbally where they just cuss out people who did not. They didn't do shit. But you're just getting all of this energy right now. Because it's bubbling over. So don't hold shit in. Whatever you're thinking, say it. You're human. Don't apologize for your your true thoughts. Say what you mean, mean what you say. And like I said, ain't shit wrong with fuck it. Just mind your manners and be honest about what you need, where you want to be, and what you don't want. My name is Shan. This is She Gets a Podcast. Thank you guys for supporting. I did update the website on Teespring with some new merch. You can check out www.whoishan.com for the clips. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody that's donating to Red Circle. I appreciate everybody that's donating on Stereo app under She Gets It Pod or at Hey Greg for Loud Mouth Stereo. Um, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate people sharing the show, sending me clips on IG. Shout out to y'all. Anybody leaving a review on Apple Podcast app or Google Podcast app, I appreciate y'all. Anybody that wants to do a show that's out here podcasting and y'all want to collab, I'm with it. I'm looking to get my June ready. May is full and booked. But if you're looking to record in June, let me know. I'm with it. Um, And that's all I got. I ain't got no more. I got a four-hour show to uh, break down and edit that I'm working on tonight. It's Monday night. And um, I'm going to chill out. I'm going to chill out. (laughs) My child number two is gone. Jesus! Jesus! I get to sleep by myself because she be sleeping in my back or on me. Um, So I get to sleep by myself, so I'm excited about that. My feather topper, my new matches feather topper is on the way. (laughs) It's going to feel like I'm just sleeping in breast, honey. Ooh, soft, mushy, churchy breast. That's what my whole bed is about to feel like. I'm going to be a living Jesus. Yes, I did. I titled this episode what I titled this episode, and I sang a hymn for Jesus. The Lord know my heart. He know who he made. He know who he created, and I'm here. You feel me? Peace out.